Yo, what's going on and welcome back to some Monster Hunter Stories 2. Last time we fought the Nargakuga and then had to fight Awen as well in a battle that I felt like wasn't very fair. Um, but we did end up winning. So we will hopefully figure out why it felt so unfair. Um, but for now we changed up a lot of our... Um, a lot of our monsters, so we have Basarios and Nargakuga now. Uh, Nargakuga is probably going to be our strongest one once we can level him up to be at like the same level. So right now we're going to turn in these quests, get some extra XP for them. And then maybe I was thinking we might try one of these trial quests. We haven't really done any of these, and I don't know how they work. Oh, it probably just, like, sends you out to go do... Like, you run around in an area and you have to kill these specific things. I thought it was just going to be a battle. I'm not that interested in that. Um, where is... Can we see... How do we leave the village? We can't leave the village on the map, so I... I, I kind of know where the mountain is. Where was it? It was like... Here? I mean, that has the right name, so... I still can't believe we missed one on the first island somewhere. So I guess let's go here. Hopefully this will take us close. Oh, Enna's here. Wait, where's uh, Naviru? Oh, he's here too. <laughs> There's a few too many people on this small little monster. Um, they want us to go backwards, so obviously wasn't quite supposed to come here. Maybe there's like a cutscene that's supposed to go off right before you get here. Oh no, we're just in the completely wrong spot. Gotcha. Alright. I mean, at least it brought us closer than we would have been otherwise. Do we see any rare monster dens? I don't think so. I do not see any. There's a Nargakuga over there. I guess, like, it kind of makes sense, but as you kill things, you probably are more likely to just find them running around. Which is another reason to kind of advance the story faster, and then you can focus on getting a, like, good version of a monster that you like. So now we're at the actual mountains. Apparently going to the rocky hills of the mountain doesn't count. Oh good. Classic puzzle of lots of bridges that are raised for no reason. What do you think is going on with this mountain? I guess we'll just have to go check it out for ourselves. You ready for this? Look, there's a bridge over there. Let's check it out. Pull that lever over there to lower the bridge. All right. That is a really big lever. It worked. Let's keep going. I mean, what were we going to do if it didn't work? Just go home? What the heck is... Oh, that's... No, the lever appears as like a giant question mark on the map, apparently. But there's a chest over here, so we're going to go get that. It had a thousand gold. 
I would argue that was not worth it. Why would you make me come all the way over here for a thousand gold? I have like 60,000 already. Okay, so what was the point of these bridges? If the if they were going to be so easy to activate and then cross. There's a bear. Oh, we do need to level up, so maybe we should just fight some things. This guy's a power attacker, right? Good against them, huh? Well, his stomach's already broken. Why are you using the wrong skill? And then you don't even have enough energy to use the right skill. That's so annoying. I guess we just attack his legs and hope that they break. They are not gonna break. I really don't understand why your monster can just randomly use a different skill from his type. It doesn't really make any sense. They didn't explain why that is. Like, why would I ever want my monster to use a different skill than his type? I feel like we did not do very well that fight. <laughs> but it's mostly our Velociraptor's fault for intentionally losing a head to head when I didn't have enough energy to correct him. His moves cost a lot more energy than some other guys do. Like, his only blue move costs 21 energy. While, um,. Like Yan Kutku. Oh, we need a rock break. Uh, Yan Kutku has one green move that costs 8 and one green move that costs 13. So, like, correcting with him is a lot easier. Part needed to lower the bridge is missing, and maybe. Why? <laughs> Why would. Like, I get that it's for the sake of the game, but, like, how illogical is that? Who is taking parts from the bridges and <laughs> moving them? The monsters don't know how to use the bridges. You don't need to deactivate the bridges by hiding the parts. Ooh, a gold chest. Raw bridge lever. Is there anything else over here? Mushrooms. Why is there this really long path? Where is this going? There was a mushroom there that I wanted. Still didn't get it. We're gonna fight them though. Alright, I am going to use Metal Overture. I'm hoping that our guy will gain back health instead of uh, losing more health. Okay, he is gaining health.
We do probably need a new sword. I think our sword's probably lacking. How should I handle this situation? We could maybe get like a double attack on one of these guys. No, we can't. Not possible. Good. Keep pushing. Jeez, they're all teaming up on Legion. Keep up this pace. Okay, so but I wanted to switch. Let's switch to you. I only have one power type now. And then we will win this double attack. Legiana will hopefully break him. And then we just want to kill him if possible. That's a lot of damage. Will Ludroth be able to finish this? No. You failed me. But maybe Alwyn will finish it? Oh, I think he did. Okay, that went pretty well. For Shulk losing half of his HP, but okay, so what? Is... Oh, this path just ends in a chest. I see. Burn ointment. Oh no. That means we're gonna fight something that's gonna light us on fire, huh? Also, the, the part that was missing from the bridge was the lever. Like, really? Like, you could just put a stick in there. We got our paws on the part we need. Pull the lever, buddy. Why do I have to pull the levers? Can't we make Enna do it? She's just here along for the ride anyways. Did we fight the Paluma? Might be a good experience. Do I use Metal Overture to heal Shulk? I think the answer is no. We'll be able to win faster. I think I should switch my bow to my primary weapon. It's more often, I think, we're just going to want to try and end the battle as quickly as possible. And my bow is my strongest uh, weapon. While the, the hunting horn is kind of like the we're in for a long fight type of weapon. Okay, so we're going to switch to you. Because this guy's technical, right? If I remember. We did not get a double attack. Must mean that Ledroth is hitting somebody else. Yep, he was hitting this random Jaggy. Can I finish the Jaggy with my power shot? Nope. Went for the Paolumu. Maybe you'll finish it with your power shot? Yay. Okay, now we only got one target. That means that our monster can't make as many mistakes. Unfortunately, we can't charge because he's attacking me and I want a double attack. 
We can almost ride, though. Uh, one more turn and we can ride. Probably shouldn't charge if I'm gonna ride next turn because that'll just cancel the charge. Okay, so he's inflating himself. His stomach's almost broken. So he switches to speed attacks, right? While he's in the air. Oh, we didn't get enough to ride? Oh, dang it. That's a problem, because I need to switch uh, monsters. Hit him in the neck pouch. <laughs> oh, his neck's almost broken. And it's broken. And he's knocked down and almost dead. I'm just gonna try and finish him off with a skill. We're mostly just doing this to try and get experience for our lower level monsters. I guess it'll also get us materials. Can we sell materials? I don't know what all we can actually sell at the shop. But if we get like a whole bunch of materials that we're actually not going to use to craft anything, we might want to sell them. Okay, this way. They still haven't really said anything about like what we're doing here. We're just kind of going. They didn't even say like get to a specific spot. Okay, so this is a jumping area. We found another lever. What the heck? Why are you here? How did you chase me all the way over here? I don't remember what this guy does. Also, everyone's attacking me for some reason. Not cool. He used the metal overture then, I guess. I forgot to switch the bow to the main weapon, but it's fine. It's not that hard to switch weapons. Show me your skills. Alright, let's switch to the bow. Okay, we're down to just the boss as well. I haven't been paying attention. What kind of attacks do you use again? I feel like you use power attacks. I didn't get a double attack. Maybe because I used rapid shot. Man, he's resisting a lot at the end there. It was like going so quickly and then all of a sudden it stopped moving at all. Uh, why are you doing exclusively power attacks now? Or actually you're doing a technical this time. You were doing a power attack last time. Finish him? He has a charge shot if this doesn't kill. Okay, we're good.
Yeah, I don't know why this monster aggroed all the way across the room, though. He was on, like, the other side of the gorge over there. He ran all the way over here. I just wanted to get this bug. This carpenter bug? That's all I wanted. Okay, so there's a path. I don't know where they want me to go. Oh, maybe there was two of them all along. Maybe that's why I got confused. There are a lot of vines, even in like the story areas. So I'm starting to question whether I'm supposed to have a vine climber already. But I don't know who the vine climber would have been. And we definitely checked all of our monsters already. Not like we just forgot to check one. So we're going to need two levers here, huh? We got one lever for this bridge. But then it looks like there's another bridge that we won't have the lever for. Oh, uh, there's also Basarios. Who took- who, who like went through here and just stole all the levers from the bridges? Like, what a jerk. Is there a chest up there? No. This appears to be the lever though. Come on. And there's nothing really else in this room. So, oh, back to the main path. We should probably fight the Pisarios. He seems like he could be good materials and experience. Oh, he's mad. Okay, so here we want to use the hammer, though. Um, and we also want a power type. Let's start with this, just because... We'll probably take a few attacks in the first five turns. So much damage. Like, I'm not taking very much damage. Like, the Jaggy hit me, it did two damage. The Jaggy hit my monster, it did 22 damage. That's 11 times as much damage. Why are my monsters taking so much damage? That's the problem I had in the fight against Alwyn. It seemed like my monsters are just taking way too much damage. Am I supposed to be using something different? Like, is Ludroth bad? What am I trying to do here? Who's attacking me? Yeah, I guess we'll hit your head, because it's the only thing that's weak. We're not getting a double attack here. In fact, Ludroth is, lo <coughs> is losing his head-to-head. -head. If you die, I'm going to be upset. Oh my god, you're almost dead. Keep going. He should just heal up now, though. Hopefully. He's got time, and we can get double attacks. I don't know, is there like... Am I just missing something? Can I like equip gear onto my monsters? To make them stronger? I just feel like I'm missing something simple like that. Okay, we have our ride. We should be able to heal fully then. Okay, Ludroth is fully healed now. We use a kinship to cancel his thing. What did we want to get rid of? Stop him from doing... 
I don't remember. I think maybe it's his tail that gets rid of some attack. Oh, we still haven't watched that one. I should have watched it. I just keep skipping them because they're really long in animations. And they're also skippable. Unlike most of the animations that just aren't skippable. Okay, great. Uh, so, Bloodroth is just choosing to lose a head-to-head -head for some reason. This is starting to get really annoying. Like, I don't... Obviously, I just use my kinship, so I don't have any energy. And then for some reason, Ludroth just uses the exact opposite of his attack type. And just loses the head-to-head. -head. Like, I only switched him in because his head... Because his attack type is power. That one's kind of difficult. Alright, so he switched up his attack now, right? But he's not attacking any of us, so he must be doing some buff first. And I don't remember what he switches to. now we probably actually don't need it because we were about to be able to ride again okay so he's using power attacks a speed attack. You get what I mean. Alright, let's hit him in the head then. We need to try and break his head at least. Oh my gosh. Took 51 damage for the draw in the head to head. Inferno gas, that's what you want to see. Everyone else is hitting other parts than the head, so we might not actually... Oh, jeez. Okay, he's back to regular attacks. Do we stay burned? Well fought, my friend. That fight really took a lot of our health. So we do appear to stay burned. Let's try and like walk it off. Because we walked off the poison last time. The burn does not appear to be being walked off, though. Maybe the cutscene will get rid of it. Nope, it did not. Okay, it's gone now. So, let's heal then. Except for Ludroth. Ludroth is still burned. Why? How? What? We'll just use an herb. Oh, come on! I come out of the menu and he's just charging me.
Okay, we're gonna need a uh, metal overture. I don't know what the heck Garrow's doing, but he's using a power attack, so I guess I'll just leave him in. Okay, he almost got one shot. That's pretty cool. I'm continuing to think that something is wrong because I don't feel like my monsters should be getting one shot. Maybe it's literally just like the monsters that I'm using are too low rarity and they suck. <laughs> and we need to use something more effective. What's going on? You're attacking me. So I'm just gonna win a head to head against you, I guess. Good, keep pushing. Oh boy. He's poisoned as well. I just switched off of the hammer too. Do I just let him figure out his own poison situation? Yeah, I should just let him figure it out, I think. So we're gonna bring out a different monster. I guess Ludroth, even though he's burned. At least the one good thing, though, is my rider appears to be, like, really strong. Not damage-wise, but defensive-wise. Okay, well, Ludroth is going to lose that head-to-head. -head. Uh, Alwyn's healing himself. Do you think that maybe I can kill that Jaggy before... Ludroth loses the head-to-head -to, -head to it. <laughs> okay. Nope, Ludroth lost the head-to-head -head first. Keep up this pace. Okay, so what does he do now? He was technical. Which means I think he's now going to use power attacks, so we need to use speed attacks. It's just impossible to memorize all these rules for each monster. He's not attacking, so I'm just gonna charge, actually. Or at least he's not attacking one person with a head-to-head. -head. Never mind, he was attacking Alwyn. for the tail. So he just fully charged his kinship, though. So he'll be riding next turn. Okay, that charged my kinship as well. So we might as well just do a double kinship. Uh, I don't know what he's gonna hit. 
and I don't know if there's a way for me to hit something else. I'll just go for the tail. Is he still angry? He is still angry. Uh, I'm not getting a double attack because my monster is doing something random again. I, I just don't get it. Why are you using a random attack? Just do what you're supposed to do. Okay, we broke his head as well and now he's dead well done I'm impressed at the moment it just feels like there's a lot of randomness in the strategy which is weird usually the strategy portion is not a part that's random Usually, like, how much damage the moves do, if they hit, if they crit, is the randomness. But in this game, like, most of the time, the only strategy you can control is what the rider does. And that's not really enough to win a fight. You can only kind of control what your monster does. You can't control the other rider at all. There's certainly a lot of big monsters here to fight. We still don't have one of these guys. Mm, I don't remember what he does. I think he uses power attacks. Not like it matters because our speed type is currently using literally anything except for a speed attack. I'll just let him go. He can do whatever. I'm going to use my healing. Still using a speed type. Or, no, not a speed type. He's still using something that isn't a speed type. Oh, he's using a speed attack. Crazy. What a great plan. I don't know, are there gonna be like monsters that are smarter? Or like, how, how is this supposed to work? Okay, so that was really good, so let's do that again. Okay, we can also ride now. I might charge my kinship a little bit this time. Okay, now he's mad. I don't know what this guy does. When he gets angry. We probably have like a free turn or something to just do whatever. Tech attack. Break his legs. What I kind of want to have is I want to knock him over and then kinch him. Yeah, like now. We didn't charge up the kinship to a new level, but Hitting something while he's downed with a kinship seems like a lot of damage. Especially since Alwyn's also going to use his kinship here. So a double kinship? We almost just one-shot him. He's so close to dead. 
Alright, so he's probably going back to power attacks, huh? How much damage do I take? I only took six. Oh, Divine Blessing probably cut that damage in half. Impressive display of kinship. Lots of materials. Alright, so where exactly are we still going in this mountain? Like, they still haven't said anything the entire time. There's a catavan stand over there. Oh, it's a burrow. Okay, well, let's stop there real quick. You can get like full health from the burrows, right? Not that I think I need to be healed, but... First we'll steal their things, of course. Sure, recover. We might have someone who's injured or something. What's wrong? Are you okay? <laughs> Okay. Actually, I'm thinking this might be a good pause spot. They're giving us the chance to save. Um, and I was thinking that around this time would be a little bit better than like the hour or so that we've been doing. I think we're going to take a chance to stop here. We explored some of the mountain. I don't know how much of the mountain is left, but we're kind of at a good stopping point. So we're going to take a break here. Hopefully you enjoyed this one and I will see you in the next one.